Today we're going to talk about how to clean baby clothes. We're going to talk about which cycle you should use and uh, yeah, step by step how to clean these things. So first of all, if you have a cycle called baby cycle, that is going to be the ideal setting that you use. If you don't have it, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to imitate using this cycle. Uh, let me just explain the baby cycle first of all. So the baby cycle is generally a cycle that will use two hours or so to complete it usually uses 30 to 40 degrees celsius heat and that equates to about 85 to 100 degrees fahrenheit on top of this this cycle also uses a lot of rinse cycles in it that is to rinse out all the remaining detergent in the garments since babies have such sensitive skin so combining all that you will find a very long cycle and one that is going to both kill off a lot of bacteria and be very sensitive for the skin. So if you're hypoallergenic or problems with eczema or something like that, this cycle could be for you as well as your baby. Um, if you don't have this specific cycle on your washing machine, what you can do is imitate it by using just one of your other cycles. Picking one of your cycles on your washing machine, what you first want to do is add extra rinse. If you have that available, if you don't, don't worry, it's okay. You can add, just rinse it afterwards, uh, the cycle is done. Next, we're going to adjust temperature here. Like I said, I like to go with 40, kills more bacteria than 30. Spin cycle, you can, it's really up to you. If you have delicate baby clothes, perhaps turn this one down a little bit. Let's do 1200. And here you can see this is going to last for three hours and 15 minutes. Uh, maybe a little bit long, so let's cut down a little bit on the cycle here to make it about two hours there. From here, your cycle will be perfect for washing baby clothes. This goes for all baby clothes and all things babies touch, right? So that is going to be all the clothes as well as the baby's toys, the baby's blankets, shoes or slippers, bedding, um, cloth diapers as well. I will however recommend that you pre-treat the cloth diapers first. And yeah, let's just get into how you can do this. So the first thing I will say right out of the gate is that you should always wash the baby's clothes alone. You should not combine it with any other clothes that you may use yourself. The reason for this is that since we use 40 degrees Celsius, um, it's not going to kill off all the bacteria that you will find out there. For example, if you work with something that needs to be sanitized, even 60 degrees Celsius, and you mix that in with your baby's clothes, it can cause uh, the bacteria to come over to the baby clothes and cause infections for your baby, which would be horrible. So always wash the baby's clothes alone. Next up, what we're going to do is that we're going to take all the baby clothes and we're now going to uh, kind of remove all the little um, dirt and uh, food particles which probably have collected on the clothes. You can do that in a basin simply by washing them off or scrubbing them off into the trash slash basin. Uh, once you have done that, we are ready to move over to the washing machine here. So we are going to open up here and we are going to throw all the baby clothes that we have ready to wash here into the washing machine. And from here, we are going to close up like that. Now, the next step that we're going to do is that we're going to add detergent into the detergent tray. That's usually the one called wash or two. If you have a top loader, you can pour it directly into the top loader or into the tray on the top loader. It's usually on the side down there as well. You need to use a detergent that is gentle. Always avoid enzyme-based detergents. These are detergents that are very effective at removing stains, so it's going to be tempting to use them. Sadly, the baby skins can't really handle it as it is so delicate. So avoid any enzyme-based detergent. Any strong detergent overall you should avoid. Nothing with scents, no scents. I usually recommend this detergent. That's the one that I use. It's like detergent sheets. It's very gentle, pretty powerful for being so gentle as well. Uh, I can add a link to this. If you want a discount, uh, I'm actually partnered with these guys. You can add a 40% discount in the video description. Yeah, any detergent like, uh, you have specifically made detergents for babies as well that you can buy in the store, but any um, gentle detergent is going to do just fine for these purposes. So we're going to load it into the wash tray here. We're going to skip over using fabric softener completely. It is for the same reasons that we're not using any strong smelling detergents. We're not going to use fabric softener either. Skip over it, don't use it. On, well, on the matter, if you're going to dry them in the dryer afterwards, also skip over dryer sheets. We don't want that on our baby's clothes. So once we have that ready, we're going to close up here and we are going to turn on the washing machine with our clothes inside. And as you remember, we pre-made the 
that, sir. <laughs> and from here, it's as simple as pressing start. So once the baby's clothes are done washing, what we're going to do is that we're going to, right after they're done washing, we're going to take them out of the washing machine here. And we're either going to pop them into the dryer right away and start it, or we're going to hang them up to dry, line dry them, right? I made videos on that in the past as well that I'm going to link here at the end of the video. So the reason that we're doing this is that if you leave the clothes inside the washing machine for a while after they're done washing, there is going to start building up bacteria and mold on the garments, which is everything we're trying to avoid here, right? So once the cycle is done, get them out of there and get started on the drying process. Usually if you're going to line dry them, uh, you need a little bit of circulation or heat around the garments. I'm going to add a video here that you can check out if you want to see how to line dry clothes. Also, uh, I've made a video on how to fold all your baby clothes in the file folding manner, which is the best way to organize and fold clothes quickly. So check that out as well right there. And yeah, hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.